Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a galaxy photo manipulation effect. So I have two things open. I have a picture that I want to use, and then I have a picture of a galaxy. So on the picture that you want to use, the first thing you want to do is actually head over to Image Adjustments Threshold. Now here you can move the slider around to find a nice balance where you can still see all of the details of your photo and it looks like a nice cutout pop art effect. Now sometimes if your photo doesn't have such a clean background like mine, you might get some stuff popping around the edges and that's fine. I'll show you how to take care of it in the next step. So I'm gonna go with this amount for my photo, press OK. And now if I had any black lines or things that I didn't want in there, I could just grab my lasso tool and either circle them out and then right click and fill with white and that would effectively remove them. Another useful tip to know if you want to just select your layer and move it on to another project is if you were to select color range and then you hold down shift and kind of drag into this black area, you could see that it'll, it'll effectively select all of the black because when you use the threshold filter, it automatically separates everything into black and white. So when you press OK, you should get a selection and then you can use your lasso tool and use the subtract from selection mode to then subtract out some side parts that you didn't want if they were there. You could also use other tools like the polygonal lasso tool if you wanted to get more exact. And then you could right click and layer via copy and you'd have your black stencil on its own layer so that you could go to layer, new fill layer, solid color or gradient and then add a background layer of whatever color you want. But those are just extra details to know for you to be able to work with this image in whatever way you want. Now we need to add our galaxy or star or really whatever type of image you want to insert into the stencil. So I'm gonna take my galaxy image here, I'll drag the layer onto my document that I'm working with, and that kinda looks cool, but that's not what we're doing. I'm gonna drag this all the way above everything and if you did cut out your image onto its own layer, what you could do is go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask, and then this would automatically clip the Galaxy image into the stencil layer. Or if you didn't do that and you just had the layer like so, and you just kept it simple with it, all you'd have to do is set this layer to screen, and since the background is white, it effectively does the same thing. So then you could just use the move tool to position your texture wherever you want. Use the edit free transform tool to scale it up or down. From here you could crop it into whatever size you want, drag these layers onto a new document or add text onto these layers, whatever you want to do with it. But hopefully this showed you guys the basics of how to create that stenciled then galaxy filled photo effect. If you guys did like this video definitely hit the like button below share it with your friends, and definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.